<laughs> Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Fruity Cheap Friday. It's a beautiful summer day. What? Middle of August, right? I've heard so many people like saying, oh my gosh, summer's over. And I'm like, okay, don't rush August, right? Because we still have lots of beautiful weather left, hopefully in August. So hopefully you guys are having a good um, kind of end of summer, right? Um, I'm kind of coming off of a high, um, just got back from a super quick, excuse me, a super quick trip up north with my kids. We did one final like hurrah before they both go to college. That is just craziness. I'm actually moving my son into his first apartment um, on Monday, so just in a couple of days. And then Lily moves into her dorm. She is going off to college also next Sunday, uh, so a little over a week from now. So yeah, I'm going to be an empty nester, which is a weird, weird feeling. Um, I stay pretty busy with all of my jobs and things, um, but it's going to be quiet around here and so that's going to be a little bit different because the kids go back and forth between my house and their dad's house hello miss beth um so they're always in and out so they're not here all the time um but just not having that in and out even is going to be a little different so it's definitely going to be an adjustment i think i'll be going to visit them a lot they might not want me to come quite as often as i think i might but we'll see um, so yeah, but we had a great time up north, did a bunch of biking, went on a trail that we weren't really, we thought we were doing a different trail, and this one turned out to have like tons and tons of like pretty steep hills. Um, hello, Amy Jo. Um, so it was a little crazy. Um, yeah, uh, we were, uh, yeah, we got our workout in, I'll say that, um, but saw some beautiful sights and just had a great time with my kids. So glad to be back and ready to do another Facebook Live. Today, we are playing, hello, Deb, welcome. We are playing with the Texture Chic Designer Series paper. This paper is gorgeous. I think you guys are gonna like fall in love with it if you haven't noticed it. And this is actually from our annual catalog. Um, beautiful kind of soft tones. Thanks for sharing the video too, Miss Deb. So can you see, um, like I said, soft tones, but then they've got those beautiful gold accents in there too. So this is one side of the Designer Series paper. And then I will flip it over and you guys can see the other side of the paper. I've got one sheet that I don't even have enough. I've used so much of it. I only have a partial sheet of it. Um, but this one's got, so no gold accents on this side. So if you want something a little bit more muted, but just still, um, just it's just gorgeous. So I think you guys are gonna love the cards. I'm looking at them because I did them like before we went up north. I was trying to be super prepared. So when I got home, Last night, I'd be all ready to go for a Facebook Live. You know, better in, in theory than in reality. Still have a bit to do last night. Um, but anyway, I'm looking at these cards now and I'm like, I think you guys are just gonna love them because this paper is beautiful. It really makes the cards. So we're gonna have lots of fun playing with that designer series paper. Again, it's called the Texture Chic Designer Series Paper in the annual catalog. So speaking of annual catalog, I know I've been talking about this, um, but I did throw it out there the other, what, last Facebook Live? So I have a one designer series paper share left from the annual catalog. I am actually going to give you a little, the sampler of the celebration papers as well. So you get the note cards um, and envelopes, the pool party and soft sea foam. You get one of each of those. These are already sold out. These are a celebration item, but I have a package of them. So I put a little sampler of those in every designer series paper share that I sell. And then you get a little sampler of the um, celebration, the gold and silver designer series paper. And oops, I only picked up one of those. I'm like, where's the rest of this? And then the rings of love designer series paper. I'm throwing this celebration paper in there as well. So you get a little sampler of all of those kind of freebies from celebration that you wouldn't have been able to get if you ordered it originally because I didn't even have celebration stuff back then. But then you get Hi, Philomena. You get um, all of this. So you can see that fun butterfly paper. Look at all of this paper. There's so much in there. I still like, I'm blown away. And it is annual catalog paper share is $44. So for all of this paper, including that free celebration paper, $44. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $10. I have one left. So um, whoever would like it, first person to say, yes, please, me, please, um, and sends payment, you will get this designer series paper share from the annual catalog. 
Okay, so it obviously includes that beautiful texture chic designer series paper that I know, like I said, you're gonna fall in love with. Sorry, I had to like put everything out on chairs because the table wasn't big enough today. So that's why I keep like going off camera for a sec. Um, but then I also have the holiday catalog paper share. You guys have heard me talking about this paper share again. Um, this is how many, it's like 16 packs of paper from the holiday catalog. The one host designer series paper in the holiday catalog. And then again, the samplers of the two celebration papers plus the note cards and envelopes. So I'll just do kind of quick flip through here. This is kind of a quick peek. At all. Can you guys even see that? I'm like too busy looking at it myself, but beautiful so much. Like, do you see, look at all of that paper. This designer series, series paper share is $52 plus $10 shipping if you need it shipped to you. So I have one of these left also. So one annual catalog DSP share for $44 and then one holiday catalog paper share for $52. So if you're first person to claim either of these, we'll get them sent out to you or if you're local, you can do porch pickup. Okay, so just wanted to make sure that everybody knew about that. Unless I get, so if I sell those, each of those, then I need a group of four if anybody still wants, say, a holiday catalog paper share. I know annual catalog, that's been out for a little while, so you might have already participated, or maybe not, I don't know. Um, anyway, but if I get more than one um, of each of those, I need four more, so I'd need five in order to be able to order any more of that. So let me know if you're interested. Love to get the paper as always. It's one of my favorite things. I, that's what I go for, first of all. I always get all of the paper that I can, all of the ribbon and all the embellishments. And then I kind of start like slowly building up my stamps um, and punches and die sets. But I love all of like the accessories. Um, it's kind of like, you know, accessories for your clothes, right? Or your purses or your scarves or your jewelry or whatever, right? Um, okay, I'm like, frantically looking around, trying to make sure that I'm telling you guys everything. Oh, I know what else. So we have more to celebrate, as Stampin' Up! has said to us. So they released, if you guys can see, here's like kind of a color picture of the new items that you can get for free during celebration, so through the end of the month. So maybe you've already gotten everything that you wanted on the celebration brochure. Well, now there are more new items. I have some of them, so I'm going to share those with you, the ones that I have. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, apparently I haven't even opened this one up yet. But we have the Timber 3D embossing folder is one that you can get for free with a $50 order. So it kind of, can you guys see that pattern? So it looks like wood grain, right? Um, you can kind of see that right there, right? So that's one of the items that you can get for free with a $50 order. We also have the gingham embossing folder, such a sweet, super duper cute. Can you kind of see the gingham on there also? Another freebie with a $50 order. Um, I don't think I have the seashells 3D embossing folder, but that's another one. You can get the, sea, the seashells embossing folder. Then there are a couple of packages of um well this is the brushed metallic cardstock and i will just kind of give you a quick little glimpse of this these are what i have left of them so there's kind of like a uh like a silver copper and bronze maybe and i think you get one or two sheets of each of these um colors hello diana welcome and then we also have the silver foil specialty pack and this is all i have left of this but you can kind of get an idea there's like a brushed kind of a darker silver and then a lighter silver so um that's another package of paper that both of those you get free with a 50 dollars order i'm trying to give you all the 50 dollars. then there are also and i don't have these but the craft gift boxes if you guys can see that little baby right there so it's kind of got that cute little um, opening and then um, you can put fun stuff inside of there right and then we have one two three four items and I actually have one of them but free with a $100 order I'll probably be getting more of these as the month goes on but these are the flowers of home dies so these are one Maybe if I turn it that way right there Anna hello I'm glad you can catch us live as well. You're welcome for the birthday card back in June. I hope you had a great birthday. It has been a busy summer, hasn't it? But that means hopefully we're having lots of fun, busy fun, right? 
Okay, so yes, the Flowers of Home dies free with a $100 order, okay? And then we also have, and this is such a cute one. Actually, I have a swap that I um, need to show you guys because it uses the dots and spots die. So I'm gonna go grab that. I think I know right where it is on my craft table. I'll be right back. Uh, hold on one sec, ladies. Yes. <clears throat> okay, because this is one I keep thinking, oh, we need to make this in card class. And now I'm like, ooh, we could get this. Um, uh, I could get that free with a $100 order. So do you see? It's like this full um, kind of sh cardstock sheet, and then it punches all these, it die cuts these holes out of it too. So isn't that cute? That's kind of a fun one. So again, the dots and spots die free with a $100 order. Also the daffodil dies and the aspen tree dies. So the daffodil dies are right there. And then the aspen tree dies. I don't have either of those yet either. Um, but those are also free with a $100 order. So you have a bunch of new things to choose from. Like I said, if you thought you got everything you wanted out of the Celebration brochure, now you have some new items that you can choose from to get for free during Celebration. Okay, I'm trying to scoot everything out of the way. Once we've talked about it, that kind of helps me keep on track. Um, what do I want to tell you guys about now? I move some stuff around on my list and it gets very confusing when I'm trying to <laughs> look at it and talk, you know? I always just get a little too excited too as part of the pro. Okay, I think let's do our first drawing. Yeah, we are gonna draw for, oh, these are awesome, the brushed metallic dots. So great, like, I always think of fall, like fall, winter. Um, I've used these quite a bit though on other projects as well. So the brushed metallic dots, or what we're gonna give away today. You guys know the drill. If you, hey Danny, how are you? Looking forward to seeing you at class in just a little while. Um, okay, so you get your name in the drawing if you share the Facebook Live video. So our last Facebook Live video, if you shared that anytime, your name is in here. Also, if you share the class to go kit post, I've been posting those regularly. So whenever you see that, if you share that, you get your name in the drawing. And then lastly, so third way is if you sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that already, the link will be above the details to this Facebook Live video. Yes, you get your name in the drawing. So one lucky winner will receive these brushed metallic dots for sharing Facebook Live video, sharing class to go kit, or signing up for my email list. Okay. The lucky winner is, we have one in my hand, Miss Judy Parker. All right, congratulations, Judy. I think she recently signed up for my email list. So Judy, if I don't have your address, make sure you send that to me because sometimes people sign up uh, for my email list and they do include their address and sometimes they don't. So okay, uh, Judy, if you um, haven't given me your uh, physical mailing address yet, make sure you do that and I'll get those brushed metallic dots sent out to you. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna dump those out. So we are ready for the next drawing. Okay, staying on track, doing a really good job. Okay, so, hey Kay, hello, how are you? Thanks for sharing the video too. I love that, so appreciate that. Um, so on our next Facebook Live video, I always have to open these up because you don't get to see the one like fun bright color in here too. So I've got like a little itch on my nose there. The fun flower resin shapes. And you gotta see the pretty, I think they're Calypso coral. I say orange, but I'm pretty sure they're Calypso coral. I love these little baby flowers. Of course, because I love that butterfly kisses sweet. These are part of that sweet, such a fun little um, fun flower resin shapes right there. So I think Calypso coral, crushed curry, fresh freesia, maybe starry sky and parakeet party. So super cute. You get your name in the drawing on our next Facebook Live. Share this video, share the class to go kit posts, or sign up for my email list. And one lucky winner will receive the fun flower resin shapes. Okay. Uh, what's next? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, we had uh, Trish Hall just recently bought the starter kit. So she is a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. So I wanna give a warm welcome to Trish Hall for buying the starter kit through me and becoming an Inkspired Stamper, part of our Inkspired Stampers team. She got that awesome starter kit deal, right? Where she got the Making Plans collection with the beautiful planner. I'm gonna to have to give this up now that I'm thinking about that. Lily's going to college next Sunday. She's taking this planner with her. So yes, she's gonna get the planner. She's gonna get all of these extra pages 
that go in there to help keep her organized for the rest of this year and all of next year too. I might keep these little, I like these little notebooks. These are pretty darn cute. So yes, she gets, well, you, well, I'm okay, I'm making myself confused too. If you buy the starter kit, you get the planner, you get all those extra pages, you get those three notebooks, and you get the making plans stamp set. Ready to break into this stamp set too, because especially because I love the, um, where is the, um, so it says, yeah, it says thank you for your order. So I'm ready to make cute cards with that little thank you. And then up here is for your order. Hello, Debbie. Thanks for watching. Glad to have you joining us. Yes, so if you get the starter kit through me, you get all of these great things, right? Through Stampin' Up, really. You get all of that awesome, the making plans collection. Again, the planner, the extra pages, the three notebooks, and the stamp set. Plus, you get to pick $125 in product, whatever you want. You have, what do we have, like a little over two weeks? left until the end of august you got a little over two weeks to take advantage of that awesome starter kit deal you don't pay any shipping you just pay 99 dollars plus sales tax wherever you live so 99 dollars plus uh, sales tax in michigan you pay 104.94 for 125 dollars and stuff no shipping fee and you get the making plans collection as well so awesome awesome deal something fun and different they haven't done before giving you this whole kind of suite of products and then you become an inspired stamper part of our group our team we love to welcome new team members we have a separate facebook group where we do lots of sharing and kind of i say business information but it you don't have to run this as a business most people um, well, they buy the starter kit and we kind of call you like a happy shopper or a hobbyist, whatever terminology you want to use. But most people don't do Facebook Lives. They don't necessarily hold classes. Um, you know, they're not demonstrating in front of people. If you want to, that opportunity is definitely there and I'm here to help you with that. But there's no pressure at all to do that if you don't want to. Most people get the starter kit because they want that awesome deal and then they get a 20% discount on everything they order after that. So it's kind of like a no-brainer, right? If you love Stampin' Up! and you want lots of stuff, buy the starter kit and then you get your 20% discount on everything that you order after that. So if you're interested, let me know. If you have any questions, I'd love to welcome you into our team as well. So again, welcome to Miss Trish Hall for becoming the Inspired Stamper recently. So congratulations, Miss Trish. Um, let's see, let's see, I have to stay in order. Oh, oh, the other thing too is if you buy the starter kit through me, your name goes in the drawing to win. I'm accumulating these perfect pomegranate stamp sets. So as many extra stamp sets as I have, I used this one on our last Facebook Live, so I won't be giving this one away, but the other sets that I accumulate, if you buy the starter kit through me, your name goes in the drawing to win one of my extra perfect pomegranate stamp sets. So an awesome extra little perk for becoming a demonstrator, getting the starter kit through me. Um, and again, we will draw for these stamp sets the beginning of September once celebration is done. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, um, okay, I think, are we ready to do Almost, almost. Just want to do a quick reminder about the super summer giveaway drawing. If you post a picture of a project right here to our Facebook group, you get two entries into the drawing for every single time you post a picture right here. Make sure you use the hashtag super summer giveaway. Okay. Hello, Miss Linda. Welcome. You also get one entry for each event you attend, including the class to go kit. I consider that if you order that, that's an attending an event. You get two entries for every $50 you spend. Uh, again, two for each project that you post to our Facebook group here using that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway. If you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries. If you join a club, including Paper Pumpkin, In Color Club, Simple Beautiful Card Club, Class To Go Club, or Scrapbook Club, you get three entries into the drawing. Purchase the starter kit, get the awesome starter kit deal, and you get five entries into the drawing. And we still have a couple weeks left. We could host that private party or class with friends, family, coworkers, whoever. You get five entries into the drawing for that as well. So we, I'll be giving away some awesome products in uh, the beginning of September also for the super summer giveaway drawing, okay? Um, 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 let's see, I gotta move some stuff out of the way. We are gonna do our next drawing for, what are we giving away? Oh yes, 
the tree lot dies, okay? So if you ordered through me using the host code that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, I'll also give it to you here in just a little bit, and then it's always above the details to this Facebook Live video once I get it uploaded this afternoon. Use the host code, order at least $30 through me. Your name went in the drawing to win the tree lot dies have, that have now actually sold out. You can't get these free with an order any longer through Stampin' Up, but I have an extra set right here to give away. So we are gonna do that now. You also will receive the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Oh, Linda's saying, I miss those really. Yes, really want to win. I know, I know, I want you to win too. So thank you for your order and hello, Miss Kay. So this was one of the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, again, using that perfect pomegranate stamp set that you can get, you could potentially win if you buy the starter kit through me. So, but you get this card as a thank you from me. And then one of these, cards i demonstrated one and then i showed another so this is another fun card use using that perfect pomegranate stamp set and then beautiful designer series paper from our annual catalog i'll show both of these right so there's that one and then that one right there yes Kay, you missed them too i know i know so yes as a thank you you'll get one two of these cards from me um, for your order, if you bumped your order up to fifty dollars, you got your free celebration choice, right? And then you also get to pick from the demo design dream team PDF tutorial, the August tutorial, or the festive pearls. You get to pick either one of those as a freebie for your order. So Linda, let me know. I don't. I think I emailed, but I don't know if I've heard back yet or not. So let me know if you want the PDF tutorial or um, the festive pearls as a thank you for your order because it was over $50, okay? So now we are gonna do the drawing for the tree lot dies. So thank you for your orders. I have to tell you guys though, your odds are still really good. Something's happening this summer. I'm not getting too many online orders. So I do truly appreciate your orders, um, but you're, like I said, your odds are really good of winning. <laughs> okay, festive pearls, I've got you down. Thanks, Linda. That was awesome and easy. Okay. All right, here we go. The winner of the tree lot dies is ha, Miss Linda. Congratulations. She had really good a chance because like I said, there weren't many names in the drawing this week. So Linda, you will get the festive pearls and the tree lot dies as a thank you plus the cards from our last Facebook Live. So congratulations, Miss Linda on that and thank you for your order. Thank everyone. Thank you to everyone for your orders as well. Like I said, I truly appreciate that. That's what keeps me going to do, be able to do the Facebook Lives, right? Um, okay, are we ready? Oh, I know one more thing I have to tell you guys. We are gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. I'm gonna make sure, did I really? I went kind of quickly, cause I'm just, I get so excited about talking about everything, but I have to make sure I'm like looking at my notes here. Talked about that, talked about that, okay. Oh, oh, I know one other thing I wanted to mention too. I'm like seeing this. We are going to be doing another one day retreat right here in Alma. It is on Saturday, October 22nd from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So if you're local or you wanna travel a little bit, come hang out with us for the day. It's a full day of crafting. You bring whatever you like um, to make and play with for the day. I give you a goodie bag with product valued at $30. Um, I think it's $64 for the day. I'll have to verify that on my flyer somewhere. Um, but let's see, we feed you all day long, give you um, snacks and treats and basically just take good care of you while you hang out and like make whatever projects you would like to make. I'll have projects on display. We actually have make and takes as well. So you can come and make the make and takes and just hang out and enjoy your time with friends, family, whoever you might like to craft with or make new friends um, that day also. So uh, what is that? Saturday, October 22nd, the one day crafting retreat, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma. Okay, if you're interested, let me know. I can send you more info on that. And then in the meantime, I've been fanning out because I love, this is called the Lights Aglow Designer Series Paper. And it's kind of some beautiful deep reds and greens. Hello, Lisa, thanks for joining. And some gold, I think is it gold? Yes, gold accents on that side. And then more beautiful deep reds and greens and a little bit of black there too, right? I think the colors, let's see, it says, yeah, basic black, cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, soft succulent, and very vanilla. So 
Beautiful. <laughs> I know, and I wish you lived closer too. I wish so many of you did because then you could come hang out with us at the retreat. I know, I know, it's a bummer. Um, so, but yeah, this is beautiful paper. We're gonna give this away. The Lights Aglow Designer Series paper, six by six pack of paper. You will get your name in the drawing if you order through me spending at least $30. We will do the drawing on our next Facebook Live. Okay, I think... We are ready. We're gonna flip the camera down. I'm gonna show you some fun. Got one more thing to show you guys and then we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, so turn your heads away. As always, we are flying through the air. Um, yeah, the beautiful, it is beautiful. I've, somehow, what's kind of funny um, is, I guess I really love that paper. I think I've ordered like three packs of it. Like usually I'm really good. Like when I order something, I make a little check mark in my catalog. And apparently I've ordered it a couple times and haven't put my little check mark next to it. So I keep ordering and ordering and ordering. So I have lots of that paper now and I'm very excited to play with it. So, okay, again, turn your heads away, fly in through the air. Here we go. We will get set up to show you some more good stuff. Okay, let's see, put that down. Did I not, okay. There we go, okay. All right, here is our host code for, what are we in, August? The PG9H2M74. This is the host code you're gonna to wanna to use to order and get your name in the drawing to win that beautiful Lights Aglow designer series paper. Okay, I do need a quick sip of water here. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to show you guys the, what am I calling this, the Splendid Day class to go okay this i think well the paper is always so beautiful and again there's no exception with this particular package of paper this is kind of a suite of products mainly um, from the holiday catalog so we have the splendid thoughts bundle bundle beautiful love the imagery in here with great sentiments like sending hugs, much love and your new life together. Let's celebrate. And today is a day to remember. And then just some kind of beautiful imagery there that of course, what did I do? Oh, here are the dies. I'm like, I thought I grabbed these dies. We're actually going to use these on one of the cards that we're making today, but I wanted to share with you. So there are a couple, like, let's see this guy right here cuts that out. And then this one right here cuts that one out. And then there's a bunch of other kind of coordinating um, in a dye, I guess, imagery, right? There's one more, we're using that one today. Um, so that's why that's not right there. But beautiful set of dyes. So we're featuring the stamp set and the dyes. You also can get a full package of the champagne rhinestones because they coordinate so beautifully with this. You get a full bolt of the, what is this called? The soft sea foam seam binding ribbon. And then I used them all up already. I think I used them on my swaps. But these little, um, these are called the open leaf trinkets. You can kind of see them on the cards here, right? You get, I think, six of those um, because, yeah, we use six of them on um, each of these cards. So let me tell you about the, actually, I'm going to show you the cards because, you guys, these are absolutely beautiful. Oh, hold on. Actually, before I do that, let me show you because I think what totally, well, one of the things that totally, may, totally makes these is this designer series paper. So this would be one, um, you're going to get a quarter of a pack of this paper in, I'm going to just flip. Okay, so there's one side, you're gonna get a quarter, so you're gonna get a six by 12 piece of each of these, okay? So there's one. This one is kind of like a, like a white embossed. I don't know if you can see that, but super shimmery. So they're kind of embossed on one side and then not embossed, but still absolutely gorgeous. Like check that out, another kind of white foil embossing. Yes, the paper is beautiful. Even this is really pretty too. Kind of looks like a linen or something. And then here's another. This might be Fresh Freesia. Is that one of the colors? No, I'm trying to remember. Yep, it's been a little bit since I designed these cards. Oh, yeah, there's Fresh Freesia on the back. And then check these out too with the little butterflies flying, right? Isn't that gorgeous? And then the back side of that. So that is gonna be um, Soft Sea Foam. And then this one is kind of um, almost like a copper maybe. And then on the back, there we go. So isn't that beautiful? Oh, the paper is just gorgeous. So again, you get a quarter of a pack of that paper.
Okay, so let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you the different options. Yes, it is very elegant, exactly. Just gorgeous, elegant paper. Okay, so we've got this card that says, let's celebrate. I did a little bit on the inside of some of them, but not that one apparently. Today is a day to remember. I love this. I think this would be a great wedding card. Much love in your new life together. Let's celebrate. And then again, featuring more of that designer series paper. And then that beautiful... Um, Soft seed foam, the seam binding ribbon, and then we've got a sending hugs card. And then again, you get, because I think we used um, six of those. We didn't put them on that card, but we did on all of the other ones, right? So a little right in there too. So you're going to get what you need. I didn't do a full package of those um, just because I was trying to keep the cost down a little bit. But okay, so with that being said, option number one, you get the stamp set and the dies. You get a full package of the rhinestones, a full bolt of the ribbon, you actually get the quarter pack of designer series paper and the little open leaf trinkets for free with option number one. Let's see, you also get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. Um, yes, Robin, they potentially would require some extra shipping. Although, you know, honestly, like they're really not, like as I'm pressing on it, what I tend to do, because even with the rhinestones, I don't like um, you know, if you just put this card in an envelope, e even if you didn't have this, I think these things kind of can get like jostled around any of those little like pokey things basically. So what I always do is take another piece of paper that I emboss with a, one of our embossing folders and I lay it over top. So I maybe would pick like a soft sea foam color and a pretty embossing folder that kind of coordinates and I would run the soft sea foam paper through the embossing folder and then just lay it on top and it kind of absorbs. So I don't know because they're really not that, I mean they're yeah, I mean, they they don't stick up much higher than the rhinestones. So when you send a card with rhinestones, I don't ever put extra shipping on. So I think you would be okay, but just kind of pad it a little bit is basically what I would do with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what was I, where was I on? I think basically I talked about option number one, right? That you get the open leaf trinkets and the DSP for free. You get the PDF tutorial. Um, it's $88. Okay. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, you have to do your stamping and die cutting yourself, right? You're going to get the ribbon, the rhinestones, the quarter of a pack of the paper and the open leaf trinkets plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put the cards together. So option number two is $35. PDF tutorial is $15, just tells you step-by-step step how to do everything. You want to do it all on your own. If you're a member of my Inkspired Stampers team, at any level, you actually get the PDF tutorial for free every single month for my class to go. And then also um, option number four is anybody in my team, my Inkspired Stampers can get the make and takes all the parts and pieces for these for just $12. I send them the trinkets, the rhinestones, the DSP, the ribbon, everything they need. They just need to do their own stamping and die cutting. So that's $12. Um, RSVPs are due, I guess it would be next Friday, August 19th. Sh kits will ship out no later than August 31st. And if you do need it shipped, um, it's an additional $10 for priority mail shipping. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. If you love these class to go kits too, consider joining the class to go kit club. You get these projects every month for 12 months, and then you actually get to be the host of the class to go club and you get $30 in free product the month that you are the host too. So let me know if you have any questions. Love to get you signed up for one of these class to go kits because they are, the cards are beautiful. The designer series paper is beautiful. It's just awesome. Awesome sauce, right? Okay. Let's see. Here we go. We are ready to do our stamping. Okay. And I always have to kind of cover that up, don't I? We'll, we'll show that again later. I like to put this so I know <laughs> when I know this is set, then I know I'm like in view, that I'm not like working way over here, right? Okay. All right, you guys. So very excited to share our first card with you. Okay, so look, isn't that paper? I just, I kept looking at these cards last night when I got home and I'm like, they're just beautiful. And it's all because of that gorgeous texture chic designer series paper. And we've got a little heartfelt thank you, right? As our sentiment there. Okay, so let me tell you how I'm making this project here. So we've got, this is kind of a fun fold here. I'm totally into these these days. I think I did one similar, but not quite the same. 
very recently. Okay, so we're gonna start with a piece of, this is soft suede cardstock. This measures seven inches by five and a half inches. So essentially this was a full sheet of cardstock because here's our five and a half to our 11, right? It was 11 inches. We cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then just up here along the eight and a half inch side, we trimmed it down to seven inches. I still did score it still at four and a quarter inches, okay? So again, seven inches by five and a half inch scored at four and a quarter. And all of these details will be on my blog this afternoon, actually tomorrow. I was gonna say this afternoon, but I have class this afternoon, so I'll be doing it tomorrow morning, get everything uploaded there, okay? So there's part of our card base, okay? Then we have another piece of, um, what did I say, soft suede cardstock? and it measures four by four, and you score it at three inches, or at one inch, whatever, whichever way you wanna say that is, right? So this is gonna lay right inside there, and then that score mark goes there, okay? Then we're gonna lay this piece of basic white cardstock over top of that, my standard layering on the inside four by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have our pieces of designer series paper. That one's gonna go right there, this one measures two and a half by five and a quarter. Isn't that that beautiful foil? It looks kind of, um, I don't know, rustic maybe. And then the backside there, right? And then we have this one that goes right on there, that piece of designer series paper that measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters and another beautiful one with that pretty seashell pattern on the back, okay? And then I just have some scraps, basically of basic white, gold foil, and um, petal pink cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? All right, so I think we're good. We're gonna just scoop this stuff over here. Did I stamp anything on the inside? I did not. I think I did at first and then it was peeking down in the corner. I didn't like it on that one. So probably flipped it over. All right, so let's do our stamping on this piece. So we're gonna use this stamp that comes from, and I thought this particular stamp set worked beautifully. The Nature's Print stamp set worked just, it was, it worked so well with that Texture Chic Designer Series paper because I did not have, I thought I wrote that down, but I did not have, um, huh. Oh, I wrote it somewhere. Anyway, I don't have the stamp set that coordinates with this designer series paper, but that's kind of a fun thing to do is find something else that you already have that kind of does coordinate well. And I thought this one just worked really, really well. So we're going to use that little kind of like water splotch right there. And then we've got a heartfelt thank you. We're going to use that one too. Okay. All right. So we are going to, I'm going to grab my little scrap paper because I'm sure I stamped off. So here's my petal pink ink and I'm going to stamp my little water splotches. I'm going to stamp that off because I don't want it too dark. And then I'm going to put that right in there. Okay. And then I'm going to use my crumb cake ink and stamp a heartfelt thank you. Okay. Make sure, I guess it wouldn't really matter if I were upside down. I just turn it around, stamp that right about there. Okay. And that looks like it's not quite dark enough. So we're going to try that again. Hello, Lori, how are you? Stamp there, stamp there, and I'm gonna press. There, that looks better. Okay, you guys know that about our basic white cardstock. It is um, thick enough that you can stamp on the other side if you don't like how it looks, right? Yes, I know, the background stamps, I love those too. I love that just kind of adding that little bit behind the stamp, right, behind your sentiment. I haven't done that in a while too. It was like a thing that I used to do, or yeah, loved doing, right? But yeah, that's a good, very good background stamp. I'll always that like um, the kind of mm, splotchy like watercolor or watermark look, right? It's kind of cool. Okay, so here we go. Let me tell you guys what we are using to these dies. So we're going to do this one and this one. And I actually need to cut two of them, but let me show you. So I pulled out already. This is 
what are these called? This is the All That dies, and I'm using a couple of other dies today on cards at Card Class, so they're not even all here. But there are a bunch of great labels. There's another label um, that we're using, and then there's this one right here. Well, another label on another card at Card Class. Some other kind of fun imagery. And then look at like this. There's a little arrow, little banners, oval, that cool little shape. And then this is what we're going to use on our card today. So this is just a great set of dies. It's kind of part of a masculine stamp set. So even if you think you don't need that stamp set, which we kind of do, even though they're not as pretty, right? Those masculine stamp sets are always very handy. Um, I guess it's probably, the, so the all that dies, I'm trying to remember the name of the stamp set that goes. <laughs> and I can't think because I don't have it here since it's at class. Anyway, it's something like that. He's all that stamp set too, right? Um, does that make any sense at all, guys? <laughs> uh, well, I'll include the name of the dies anyway um, in the details today on my, my um, blog. Then this is the little die, like I said, from the Splendid Stems dies that we're using in the Splendid Day class to go. So that one would fit right there. Gorgeous set of dies. I love these things. So we're going to die cut that little baby right there. And we need one more because we're going to, let me show you on here. I did one gold and then one petal pink right there. And then we're going to die cut that little piece right there too. Okay. So let's do, oops, always wiggles, right? So we're going to run back and forth through here. Okay. So check this out. This has kind of got, um, do you see like the little scallop edge, but then it's got that embossed circle on the inside. He's the man. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Beth. Okay. And yes, I will count you in for the October 22nd receipt. He's the man stamp set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. The all that dies and he's the man stamp set. That's what it's called. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is one of those little foil, gold foil, little spriggy thingies there that we're going to use and then we're going to do one more in our petal pink hello miss roseanne thanks for your help there beth i love that when you guys <laughs> come through for me when i'm having a moment right okay all right and then one more little spriggy guy let's see well all those yeah cool they're all stuck right on there okay so there's one more little spriggy guy that we're going to use okay there. So I don't know if you guys, I should show you that. All I was doing was just using the edge of this and just kind of scraping them off right there. So since that particular <laughs> plate is really well loved, you just kind of use something to scrape them off there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Beth. Okay. So I think we are ready to put our card together. So let's get that back in view so we know what's going on. And we can start layering up our little bits here. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. I found my note that I was trying to find earlier with the name of the stamp set. Oh, I love this paper. Isn't that so pretty? The seashells on there. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying this card, Robin. I was too. I've been looking. So it's funny because I've been kind of eyeing this designer series paper a while and thinking I really want to play with that. And then things just, you know, time goes. And so finally I was like, okay, enough is enough. We are showing this paper on Facebook Live today. So yeah, and just so many cute little uh, just other dies and things that coordinate, right? Okay, so we're going to put some adhesive on the back of that flap right there so that it, and you want to kind of line it up, you know, so about the same amount of cardstock showing on top and bottom. Okay, so press really firmly there. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up today. All right, and then here's our basic white piece that goes, because I don't know what they're called really. Okay. So we've got that guy and that guy. We're going to add these things, maybe right about there. And then we're going to tuck these little spriggy things. Actually, I'm going to kind of lift that up because I want just a little bit showing. And sometimes, of course, I put my um, 
dimensionals, like right where they won't kind of like layer back in there very well. Okay, so we've got those things there. And then, so we've got some new product from, if I had my bone folder, I'd be using that instead I'm kind of using my fingernail. So I love, this is called the Gold Shimmer Ribbon. So it's in our holiday catalog. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be perfect for all of your holiday projects kind of starting to get in the mood. That holiday catalog for me just came out a little too early. Like, I don't know, middle of summer, it's hard to think about holidays, especially when there's so much cute, good stuff um, in the annual catalog, right? So this is kind of a fun way to use product from both the annual catalog and our holiday catalog. I'm glad you like that fun fold too, Miss Linda. It's a very simple one. And again, I'll include the dimensions, so it's super easy for you guys to put it together um, when you're ready to do that. <laughs> and you agree, yes, I know. because But then you know what happens, then all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, the holidays are here and I haven't done as much as I wanted to. So I kind of can't win, you know, I'm not ready to do it. And the next thing you know, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm behind already, so... You know, it's the story of our lives, right? Okay, so one more little thing we're gonna add to our project. These are those festive pearls that again are free, the free embellishment. And that's what's kind of funny is you don't even realize, ooh, there's the beautiful red ones. I think I'm gonna say cherry cobbler, soft succulent, silver, and gold are um, what we're working with there. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to grab my little paper snips and we're just going to add a couple. I thought, you know, I'm always just have to add a little, a little accent, a little something fun right there. Okay. So there is project number one, a heartfelt thank you. And then you've got, so you've still got room. Basically you can, you know, you have to be a little strategic. Just maybe don't write there or there is all we're looking at. Right. Okay. So there we go. Project number one all set so again you guys would get that card for free with your order through me of at least thirty dollars and then you will also get this beautiful card too so check this one out more gorgeous designer series paper again the texture chic designer series paper and a kind of a cute little fun fold here also with again the same stamp set that nature's prints stamp set so we used this little die kind of as a background and then the you're on my mind and then on the inside we stamped that little baby right there so and then this beautiful ribbon oh my gosh okay i've been dying to use this ribbon too this is i think it's rose gold and white striped ribbon they call it and isn't that cool it's just so pretty just a gorgeous gorgeous ribbon and i thought it worked really well kind of the rose gold gold with the petal pink um, the gold accents i just thought it all kind of worked well together Okay, so here we go with this project. Again, I'll give you some dimensions here. I'll get everything all set. Okay, so this one took me a minute too. <laughs> I'll warn you when you go to, I'll tell you in a sec what I'm talking about this, but the, the scoring, cutting kind of situation. Okay, so soft succulent cardstock, full piece of cardstock, right? We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, less like we always do. And then again, along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Now, when you grab your cardstock, right? Um, this piece, you're gonna lay on your paper cutter scorer and you're gonna cut it at three and three quarters of an inch. I kept cutting over here, and then I would flip it around, and then I'd have my flap here, and I want my flap over on this side. So again, you're gonna lay your paper on your paper trimmer, and you're gonna go over to three and three quarter inches, and you're gonna cut just down to your score mark right here. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have that scored at four and a quarter inches, go over three and three quarter inches, and then cut down from the top down to the score mark, okay? Because then when you flip it over, the flap is on the right side. Because again, I kept having the flap over on this side. So yeah, I worked it out eventually, but I think it was late at night and I was not thinking very clearly for quite a while. <laughs> so anyway, I survived though. Okay, so next we have a piece of petal pink cardstock that's gonna go right on there, three and a half by four inches, and then the designer series paper that layers on top of it, three and one quarter, 
by three and three quarters. Okay, so those are both gonna go right there. Then we have on the other side, petal pink, one and a half by four, and then DSP one and a quarter by three and three quarters. And that's gonna go right on there, okay? And then I just have um, extra pieces of soft succulent and basic white to do our stamping and die cutting. And then one more piece, basic white on the inside right there that measures three and a half by four inches, okay? So let me show you how we did this one. Let's just scoot those up right there since that's all ready to go, okay? So we are going to stamp, where's my little scrap piece of paper? So, mm, my petal paint is again. Okay, so we have, mm, and my soft suede actually. Mm, let's do this one first, I'm trying to decide. Uh, all right, I think I, I was trying to remember whether I stamped and then die cut or vice versa, but I think, so I'm gonna stamp that. Mm. Let's see, I don't know if I need to stamp it off, but we're gonna just do, let's see. Yeah, I think that's okay to stamp it off. It almost looks like I didn't there, but let's see what it's gonna look like, if it's gonna be dark enough or not. If it's not, we'll just stamp it again. We've got, you're on my mind. We're gonna stamp that, maybe right about there. Yeah, I think that'll work, right? And then let me show you these beautiful dies that we are using today. I'm gonna pull these two out so I can show you the name of them. They are called the Designer Tags dies. And I think I used that little spriggy flower thing on our last Facebook Live, but then look at all of these other like tags and labels. So this one is super cool, right? This one actually, and I didn't even, I haven't even used it yet, but that one layers with that little guy right there, right? We are just gonna use this on our, on our soft succulent. I don't know if you guys can see, that's the piece right there. We're gonna cut that one. And then we're gonna use this one with the extra detail. Hello, how are you, Brenda? Thanks for joining us. We're gonna die cut that one right there and you can kind of see, so the big bow kind of covers up some of the detail, but you can kind of see that right there too. And I'll show you again when we um, die cut that, okay? All right, so I think we're ready to go with those, right? Um, okay, pull our die cutting machine back in to view here, All right? Okay, so we have our soft succulent piece. We're gonna scoot that one, oops, up there. And then we've got this basic white. And we wanna go maybe right about, and it looks like it's cutting it off, but it works okay. It just barely, the you're on my mind, just barely fits on the die, but it does. Okay, all right, so yeah, check this out. Isn't this beautiful? Love that tag, right? So, so pretty. And then this kind of simple guy right here, we could have some fun with that one too, couldn't we, right? Okay, I think that was all of our die cutting. So let's just get this guy right out of the way. All right, I think we are ready to put things together. Okay, where's my adhesive? Mm, right here, there it is. Okay, all right, let's move the card back into view so we can see what we're doing, right? You guys can see that too? Yep, okay, scooting those. All right, so let's add, ooh, check out the back of that one too. Isn't that pretty, right? Okay, this time we're using kind of these pretty, um, they're like weathered flowers, all right? Like vintage, vintage weathered flowers on that side of the designer series paper. Run it and tip it back. I'm getting pretty good at that. As soon as I say that though, now it's gonna like not work for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be moving it forward with my finger. I probably shouldn't have jinxed myself, but okay, we're doing all right. Definitely more proficient at using the stamp and seal. Took me a while <laughs> to be able to do that. Yes, it is the best, isn't it, Lisa? I agree, it's just so pretty. And I'm just so happy that I finally Got to play with it. Okay, so these are both just 
put right on. There's that one there. And then we're gonna layer this guy right on there. We're gonna add our pretty, pretty ribbon, the rose gold and white ribbon. Beautiful. It's a little bit bigger, wider, but again, um, Robin, you were asking, you know, is, is it gonna cost extra postage? I would definitely put another piece of cardstock that I embossed. It just kind of helps absorb the bump, basically, so that I think you don't need to add, you know, unless it truly won't go through the machine, but these don't make them that thick that they won't, that they're non-machinable. And everybody's post office is a little bit different too. I'm pretty good friends with the <laughs> with the guys at my post office because we're there so often. My kids know them really well too. So maybe they're a little bit more lenient. I don't know. It does just seem like some people are more strict than others. So we have a pretty laid back crew <laughs> at the Alma post office, I would say. Okay, so we're going to add this with a mini glue dot. And I kind of tried to like angle it so you could still see some of that detail there. Then actually let's put this piece on the inside right here we go so you can still write. Oh, and that was the other thing. This one we actually sealed down. We don't want this one to come back up so it just kind of stays right there. So when you open the card, it's just like that. Oops, sorry, this has been like way down here, hasn't it? I should know, paper pumpkin, that's right in the middle, right? I should always be working need to trim that off a little bit too. It's a little lopsided. There we go. Okay, and lastly, oh, loving the in-color opal rounds from last year. These are perfect, the perfect little accent, the little soft succulent um, little opal rounds there just work perfectly to add a little sparkle to our card. We're going to do you know, maybe I'll put them on the here this time because I think you can see them a little bit better. You don't see them quite as well on the DSP. Um, so there, the opal rounds right there. <laughs> yes, and you get, <laughs> and yes, we definitely know the postmaster and all the and all the guys working at the post office. And yes, it is it is very handy, isn't it? They're nice guys. They take good care of us. So, yes. Okay. So, ladies, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me skip these things out of the way. I hope you enjoyed these projects today. Make sure if you are ready, I've got my host code right up there. It's also listed right here too. If you are um, wanting to order and get some of these things to make these beautiful cards, make sure you use this host code or anything you want to order, right? The PG9H2M74. You will get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name will go in the drawing to win the Lights Aglow 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack. And then you also get your choice of... Oh, I put those, I put these over here for Linda already. <laughs> yes, the Festive Pearls or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. You can pick either one of those free with your $50 order. Plus you get celebration choice and you can get one of those new celebration items too. So thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me today. Um, wish me luck as I take Cade to his apartment on Monday and then Lily, next Sunday, we're moving into her dorm. Oh my goodness. It's going to be an emotional couple of days, I think. So thanks everybody for watching and hanging out this afternoon, this morning, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you.